This how they do business down in Colombia, Sangre Negra? Must be taking too much of your own supply. It's making you paranoid. I call it cautious, senor. This is a dangerous business we are in. I have heard two assassins have been hired to kill me, and now, conveniently, you two gentlemen show up. Keep them here. I have bigger business to attend to. We'll make them talk when I return. In case you're wondering why that scene made absolutely no sense, it was supposed to happen without our police gear on. Because, for some reason, they didn't foresee us wearing our police gear. We were supposed to be wanting to do business with Sangre Negra. That was our cover. And it just makes the scene seem hilarious now. Anyway, there's an optional room down here. Completely optional. It has three enemies in it, but it also has a first aid kit. So it's worth it. This is my favorite level graphically since the, uh, the club. Hotels are nice looking. I'm not sure if they just made this hotel look nicer than a normal hotel, or if I just like the way hotels look so much. I will let you decide. You can decide if you think this hotel looks nicer than a real hotel, graphically. I mean stylistically, not graphically. It's obviously not as... Not, oh god, what am I talking about? We've officially entered the Coke World section of this game. So, all the drug collectibles are now bricks of coke. The only place to take cover is behind these destructible pots. But the destructible pots, when we take cover behind them, also allow us to see better into the room. So I like to take cover behind them anyway. Man, that guy's hiding. Anyway, I will take a single coke brick to show you what they look like. There's one right here. Apparently there were five Cokes in that. I wish I could say something interesting about this room, but the breakable cover was really the only thing about it. I mean, the enemies have a lot of places to hide. There's that too. But even though we're really late in the game, it's going to be super easy because we have everything we could virtually need. We're just a walking death machine now. There's no reason to, uh to be fearful of anything, or anyone. I mean, it's not like there are boss fights in this game, but if there were boss fights, I'm sure they would be easy too. Aw oh man, that was almost perfect. There are a couple interesting rooms in this level, but despite this level looking nice graphically to me, it's not one of the most interesting levels in uh, layout. It does feature elevators though, and it is the only level with such features. But elevators are really just prettier looking doors that teleport you to different parts of the map. It doesn't show the map in different layers, it just it just shows the map spread apart. So I think of the elevators as teleporters even though they're supposed to be elevators. Because according to the map, we're, we're not using an elevator, we're teleporting horizontally into a different space. This room is a big loop with two different hallways in it, which means that the enemies can come up from behind you at any time. Now, I would question whether the AI is doing this on purpose, or whether it's just a coincidence that they come up behind you, but it's happened enough times that I think that they're doing it on purpose. I think they are that well programmed. It's a shame that this room has so few enemies in it when I think it's the most interesting room in the level unless I'm forgetting one. Oh, yep, I'm forgetting one. The second most interesting room in the level. I mean, I guess they didn't expect everyone to have all of the collectibles at this point, and to have fully upgraded police armor. So if you were if you were playing through this game and didn't get all the collectibles and didn't upgrade yourself all the way, maybe this room would be a lot harder. I don't know. But hey, at least you got to see a guy come up, come up on us from behind before we left the room. 
there is another first aid kit in here that we don't really need it, and wow, my aiming is terrible. For some reason, I decided the most efficient way to get the first aid kit would be to make an entire loop around this. Maybe I intended to show you off this side of the hallway. I mean, I guess there's a mop bucket on this side of the hallway. Are you glad I showed you that mop bucket? Anyway, let's turn off security. Honestly, this level is short enough that if you have all the riot armor, you could probably run through it just with your shotgun and shoot everyone point blank in the face. Assuming you knew where the first aid kits were. Oh man, I was about to say, hey, uh, dishwashers, we haven't seen one of those since in the desert next to a billboard and I was thinking of a completely different video game. That is much worse. I'm so sorry, Miami Vice. No, I'm not going to tell you what game that was. That's it. That's all you get to hear. You can see the deactivated camera up there. I'm a little sad that we can't shoot the cameras instead of deactivate them, but I guess that would remove one of the game mechanics. And replace it with a much more boring one. We only have one last teleporter to get in before the stage ends. The best room in the level is right after that teleporter, though. For some reason, we can only use the fancy-looking elevator, not the ones next to it. By fancy-looking, I mean the service elevator. But whatever. This room is pretty fun. There's a bit of railing in a circle right here, and a whole bunch of enemies on the floor below. Which, just like that, uh, that movie room in the very first stage, we get a whole ton of free headshots. Or, I mean, theoretically we would. We got at least one headshot out of it. Also, I do believe a lot more enemies appear in this room if you don't deactivate the cameras. Still pretty easy, though. And I think the flash ram is behind the counter over here. I don't know why we're still getting it, but we are anyway, so just, just take it. But what do you care? You're not going to see it either way. I mean, from this point we could honestly just run straight to the exit. But this is a nice looking lobby at least. I don't see where the, uh, where the breakfast is. I think that's a bar. But that's not, that's not breakfast. I hope this place has continental breakfast. I like the tiny bowls of cereal. The little tiny novelty cereal boxes. I wonder if anyone's collecting- man, that guy spun. I wonder if anyone's collecting those. And like, selling them on eBay after they become rare. Anyway, the exit's right over there, so... Shipments coming in, then we can hit them before they even arrive in Miami. 